Food and Beverage Services for Grade 7 and 8. Our topic is the Organizational Chart and Job Description. Identify the organizational chart and job description of food and beverage services. Number one, explain the organizational structure of food and beverage department. Number two, discuss the different job descriptions and functions of each food and beverage personnel. And number three, identify the duties and responsibilities of the food and beverage service personnel. Organization of the Food and Beverage Department Food and Beverage Service Department of a hotel is the most labor-intensive department. It is divided into sections called outlets for effective management control. Each outlet is headed by an outlet manager and has its own operational procedures. A food and beverage manager heads the department and he delegates authority and responsibilities to the outlet managers. Outlet with large and subunits with specific functions to attend to. Each unit is supervised by supervisors or section heads. Among subunits are as follows. Food and beverage sub-department or sub-units. Bars. It is headed by the bar supervisor or bar captain. Food outlets. It is supervised by outlet supervisor. Room service. It is headed by the room service supervisor or captain. Banquet service. It is bought for the house function and catering under the supervision of the banquet supervisor. Here is an example of organizational chart of food and beverage services. Staffing and management for a restaurant. Staffing and management. The focus of recruiting service personnel and management staff should be effective delivery of services and proper management of daily basis, plus long-term goals of the restaurant. The restaurant staffing depends on size, cover, style, and type of the food and extent of the operation. But remember, the key for effective management and service delivery is the teamwork. The following personnel shows a structure of medium-sized casual dining restaurant. Restaurant Manager This person has overall responsibility for the restaurant and other food and beverage service areas. The restaurant manager sets the standards for service and is responsible for any staff training that may have to be carried out on or off the job. He or she makes duty roasters, holiday schedules, and hours on and off duty, so that all the service areas and outlets run efficiently and smoothly. The next staff is the captain. This person has overall charge of the service staff or team. He is responsible for ensuring that all duties necessary for the pre-preparation for service are efficiently carried out and nothing is forgotten. The captain helps with the compilation of duty roasters and holiday schedules and may relieve the restaurant manager on their day offs. Next is the waiter. The waiter must be able to carry out the same work as the station head waiter and relieve him on days off. The waiter will normally have less experience than the station head waiter. Both the waiter and the station head waiter must work together as a team to provide efficient and speedy service. Next is the trainee or apprentice. 
The train is the learner, having just joined the food service staff and possibly wishing to take up food service as a career. During service, this person will keep the sideboard well filled with equipment and may help fetch and carry items as required. The trainee carries out certain cleaning tasks during the preparation period. He may be given the responsibility of looking after and, ser and serving some appetizer or smaller courses from appropriate trolleys. Next is the wine waiter or the sommelier. The sommelier is responsible for the service of all alcoholic drinks during the service of meals. He must also be a salesperson. This employee must have a good knowledge of all beverages available, the best wines to accompany a certain foods, and the liquor licensing laws applicable to the establishment and area. Next is the host or the hostess. The role of a restaurant host or hostess is to attend the guest needs particularly on arrival at the restaurant. The host should meet, greet, and seat the guests. The host should make sure that guests leaving the restaurant have enjoyed their meal. The host is usually the final contact point of the guests and this is the sales opportunity. The barman. This person must have a good knowledge about their ingredients and methods needed to make alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks. The baker. If you love the idea of creating perfectly baked breads, pies, cakes, and desserts, then becoming a baker could be an ideal career for you. You can master your skills by enrolling in baking or pastry arts program which will give you a leg up in the industry. From there, you can set up your own pastry shop or become a head baker in a large commercial bakery. The Chef As a chef, you can work for a restaurant or set up your own restaurant, boutique diner, or any other food service establishment. Some of your primary duties might include formulating original recipes, preparing meals, overseeing kitchen management, and maintaining quality standards. One of your best bets for this career is to obtain a culinary arts education. Culinary Arts Instructor You can also become culinary instructor in culinary schools, colleges, or vocational schools if you are inclined in teaching aspiring chefs. You will be responsible for developing lessons that follow the Education Management Corporation curriculum which provides lectures and hands-on experience among students. Nutritionist Then, if you care about what people eat, you can be an expert in the field of food and nutrition where you will give advices on how an individual can lead a healthy lifestyle or achieve a health related goal through a diet plan. You can work in various settings such as hospitals, cafeterias, nursing homes, and school. Likewise, you can set up your own clinic which provides consultations and advices. Research Chef This is not the typical chef that you commonly hear of. As a research chef, you can work as a professional chef with a special certification in food science. Your primary function includes creating new food and beverage products, improving food processing methods, and performing research for food manufacturing companies. You may also be involved in preserving, packaging, or storing process. Restaurant Publicist your love for food and excellence in public relations can be an edge if you want to become a restaurant publicist, a career that is becoming increasingly important today. Among your responsibilities include improving the brand image of a restaurant and distract any negative attention in it. More likely, you will work for a public relations firm on an in-house publicist in a restaurant chain. A time to remember.
This is Mylene Huliganga. Thank you for watching.